हेलो एवरीबॉडी वेलकम टू शेक एंड विद लाइफ यूट्यूब चैनल हेयर ऑन दिस चैनल यू कैन वॉच वेराइटी ऑफ वीडियोज एंड बिल्डअप योर इंजीनियरिंग एंड मैनेजमेंट स्किल्स एंड इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन दिस चैनल देन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब दिस चैनल एंड देन प्रेस द बेल आईकॉन सो वेन एवर देर इज अ न्यू वीडियो अपलोडेड ऑन दिस चैनल यू मे गेट द नोटिफिकेशन अबाउट the latest video upload i am narendra sharma and in this video of iso 9001 2015 quality management system requirements clause 7 which describes about the support and in this particular video i am going to discuss about the clause 7.4 which describes the communication and clause 7.5 which describes the documented information so i have again requested to you that uh, please subscribe the channel and press the bell icon so whenever there is a new video uploaded on this channel you may get the notifications about the new video upload now starting with the clause 7.4 which describes the communication the organization shall determine the internal and external communications relevant to the quality management system and this includes what the organization will communicate when to communicate whom to communicate how to communicate and on behalf of the organization who will communicate this can be better understand with an example suppose the organization has to communicate with the customer then what it needs to communicate with the customer product service agreement quality policy delivery status audits improvements opportunities and risks while manufacturing a product or service and when it needs to be communicate to the customer it should be at the time of contract initiation or renewal or amendment or after the changes to policies or processes how or how often it needs to communicate the terms to the customer it can be communicated through the contract or service reviews and through the internet and who will communicate on behalf of the organization organization to customer he may be the marketing manager or the customer executive and in case of the suppliers what needs to be communicated by the organization there should be contract agreement quality policy contract amendments and when it will be communicated contract initiation time or renewal time or after changes to policies and processes and how it will be communicated through contract or service reviews and who will communicate to the supplier on behalf of the organization he may be the purchasing manager or the purchasing executive so this was the clause 7.4 which describes about the communication in iso 9001 2015 now come to the clause number 7.5 documented information this clause is further divided into three sub clauses 7.5.1 is general 7.5.2 is creating and updating 7.5.3 is control of documented information now clause 7.5.1 is a general requirement for the documented information the organization 
quality management system shall include a documented information required by this international standard the documented information required by the ISO 9001 2015 that means to effectively implement the ISO 9001 2015 some documents are necessary for ISO 9001 2015 implementation and B says the documented information determined by the organization as being necessary for the effectiveness of the quality management system. B says the documented information it needs to be determined by the organization for its effective implementation of the quality management system. So these two documented in information are a little bit different. These required by the international standard and these determined by the organization and how these documented information determined by the organization the extent of the documented information for a quality management system can differ from one organization to another why due to the size of the organization and its type of activities processes products and services many of the documented information for implementation of the quality management system successful implementation of the quality management system determined by the organization itself and this depends upon the size of the organization the number of processes through which the product and services manufactured or delivered type of products or type of services and the complexity of the processes and their interactions how the process how complex the process and how the different processes are interacted with each other in the manufacturing in a manufacturing or service delivery processes and how competence of persons what type of the competency required to manufacture a product or to deliver a service uh, the persons who required to manufacture a process uh, to manufacture a product or to deliver a service this on the basis of that the documented information should be determined by the organization now clause 7.5.2 it is about the creating and updating when creating and updating documented information the organization shall ensure appropriate a identification and description it implies each and every document has a unique title date on which the document has made and author who made the document and a unique reference number b says the format of the document for example the language if it is a electronic format then the software version of the document and the graphics and the media used by the documented information for example the paper or it may be the electronic c says a review and approval for suitability and adequacy the documented create the document created by the the organization must be reviewed for suitability and adequacy according to the product manufacture or to service delivery process and accordingly it needs to be approved by the top management now come to the clause number 7.5.3 it is about the control of documented information this clause has two sub clauses 7.5.3.1 and 7.5.3.2 7.5.3.1 it says documented information required by the quality management system and by this international standard shall be controlled 
to ensure why it should be controlled why should the documented in information should be controlled because it is available and suitable for use where and when it is needed so that the document documented in uh, the documented information easily available and suitable for use whenever it is required b says it is adequately protected so that it should not lost lost the confidentiality of the information and improper use no one can use improperly this documented information and it should not be the reason of loss of integrity of the organization therefore the documented information must be controlled for easily available and for suitable suitable use whenever it is required and it is adequately protected the clause number 7.5.3.2 it says for the control of documented information to control the documented information the organization shall address the following activities as applicable a distribution access retrieval and use so that employee can easily access the documented information so the documented information easily distributed it can be easily accessed by the the employees who are working in the organization they can easily retrieve b says the documented information should be stored properly and preserved in a suitable way or suitable place it should be stored in a suitable place including preservation of legibility it implies the documented information should be stored at a safe place and it should be periodically backup whenever it is required so that it can easily be preserved the 7.5.3.2 c says control of changes control of changes means the correct version should be available with the latest revision the d says retention retention means some of the documents after a certain period of time is not required by the organization then therefore the there should be a retention policy for the documented information how long we or the organization retain a particular type of documented information and disposition what happens after retention time after a certain period of time if the document is not required by the organization then what would the organization do with that documented information it either it should be archived or shared or recycled that documented information the documented information of external origin determined by the organization to be necessary for the planning and operation of the quality management system shall be identified identified as appropriate and be controlled and in the same way as the internal documented information are controlled preserved or stored in the same way all the external documented information which are required for the planning and operation of the quality management system be controlled and stored as the internal documented information the documented information retained as evidence of conformity shall be protected from unintended alterations the documented information which stored as a record which is stored as a record by the organization which prove that the organization uh, which, which which is the evidence of conformity that it is actually doing what the organization is saying to customer that we are doing or we are executing this kind of a process 
and this type of documented information should be protected so that unauthorized person cannot make any kind of change in that documented information. A note is there, access can imply a decision regarding the permission to view the documented information only on the permission and authority to view and change the documented information. Access implies that a decision that means a, an authorized person can only be view the documented information or he has the authority to change to make a change in the documented information. So this was the clause number 7.4 and 7.5. Now you need to answer these three questions and write your answers of these three questions in comment box. Also write your feedback in the comment box and tell me how do you like this video. The first question is which clause talks about the internal and external communications relevant to the quality management system. Clause, uh, question number two is which clause talks about the identification and description of documented information. And question number three is which clause talks about the availability, suitability and protection of documented information. Please write the answer of these three questions. Also write your feedback in comment box. If you like this video, then please press the like button and share this video among your friends and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe Shake Hand With Life a YouTube channel and then press the bell icon. So whenever there is a new video upload on Shake Hand With Life a YouTube channel, you may get the notifications about the new video upload. See you in my next video of ISO 9001-2015 Quality Management System Requirements. Thanks for having stay with me. Have a nice day. Thank you.